hello everybody welcome to the channel sorry i've had a bit of a delay getting on but i'm with you now hi vicky sorry about that i'm having trouble connecting all working perfectly fine now thank goodness <laughs> oh my goodness Computers, eh? <laughs> How are you this morning? <sighs> Turn that a little bit because it's blacking out with sun from window. There we go, I can see it clearer now. Oh, well, it's nice to be here. I'm going to be colouring from the ink house again and I decided to do the teapots today because they're fairly straightforward and I want a relaxing day today. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me just straighten this camera up because for some reason it's gone sideways. Stay up there, thank you. some cable off a bit I think it's pulling it there we go oh that sounds like a lot of cards you're doing Vicky <laughs> welcome to the company anyway I'm going to be using ink tents again as usual I just don't know what colours yet, so it might be pick at random day. And I'll write them all in in description after it's uploaded. So it could be a surprise for me, like it could be a surprise for you. On what colours? I'll have to put this back down on this table. I haven't got much room today. Right. I think I want to start with something vibrant. So. I'm going to go with lemon yellow and put a bit of sienna gold in it. So let's start with them two. Hi Pickle, morning. How are you this morning Pickle? Hope everybody's fine and well and everybody who's lurking come in and say hello if you wish we don't bite putting some yellow no sorry I, I lied it's sherbet lemon 0100 and sienna gold 0240 I'm putting them down on the mat Caroline says hi Dot. Hello Caroline. <laughs> hi Caroline. Did you have a good time with your friend? I hope you did. Lots of catching up to do. Right. I think I'll start easy with egg cup. Oh, I need my cloth. Can you get that, Chuck? Aye, all again. Oh. Uh, no, all right. Uh, not bad. Taking some time today. Another one. Right, I think I'll put the sherbet lemon in the light the stripes. There you go, mate. Thanks Cheers. a lot. Cheers. 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 And then I'll put the sienna gold in the darker stripes and see how it comes out. Hey Christine, welcome. Oh, I'm glad you had a good time, sweetie. Another one of your presents. Is it? Right. 
Yeah, that's nice and vibrant. I want I want some cherry colour today because although me and Ian are feeling well today, we're aching. So I want some bright colour in his life, don't we, Doc? Yes. Why? Why? Somebody sent a parcel they've not paid enough money on. Yeah. Yeah. One pound fifty due. Right. Not enough postage. Yep. Mm hmm That'll that'll be tomorrow then. Yeah, yeah it's got to be, hasn't it? Mm. Right. So that's for the lemon. I'll try the Sienna Gold now. I'm trying to finish this book, Christine, and then I can concentrate on Inky and the Ivy a bit more because I want to do that for my granddaughter Ivy. Dry that off a bit, I've picked a bit too much water up. It's only a subtle colour change from the lemon, but it's just enough. And then a shading that needs doing, I'll do it with pencil after. I'm just putting flat colour down today. It is, isn't it? <laughs> she must have thought in advance. <laughs> well, it's lovely and quiet here today. Don't even sound like there's anybody working at trading estate behind us. No drilling, nothing. You could almost believe that zombies has been and took everybody apart from you. It's that quiet. <laughs> mm. People on here don't. I've just realised again I have not zoomed in sorry guys I keep forgetting that because I can see the page I seem to think everybody else can see the page I'll just see if I need two clicks or three <laughs> it is a cheerful thought <laughs> But you never know. <laughs> oh, I can hear somebody banging now, so no, zombies haven't been yet. <laughs> right, is that zoomed in enough, guys, or do I need to do one more click? I think that's zoomed in enough, isn't it? Looking at it. There we go. It's warm today, my water's drying quicker than I can mop it up on my little plastic sheet. It's 
So what's everybody's plans for today? Have you got a nice quiet day or is it going to be busy in a bit? Have you got a colouring day planned? Or has adulting got to get in the way? I know Vicky has. She's got lots of colour cards to do today. So. <laughs> do you really, Vicky? <laughs> Well, I'm afraid it's far, rather boring because we, our TV is in the bedroom. So, because I was starting to take, I tra transferred your stream from the computer to my phone and went and sat on bed to um, wait headphones on to watch the rest of your stream while eating a chocolate muffin. So, nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. That's good, it's a nice gold colour, isn't it? Hi Tracy, welcome. Any ideas what you're doing in stream tonight, Caroline? Or are you still thinking about it? Oh, ain't that a long job, Christine, editing video? It's a lot easier streaming, isn't it? <laughs> you don't have to mess about with editing and uploading. And I don't know about you, but I find it odd talking to myself. Hey, Laura, welcome. Did you get a message off April this morning, sweetie? And for anybody who's listening, all the schedule, streaming schedule, has been updated for me and Laura. So if you go and check that out, you'll see email, sweetie. Go and check your email. Yeah, the schedule's now updated, so it will show Laura's stream days and mine that's changed to Wednesday. No, not faithful. Uh, April Sarah for the schedule. Could be on the email. <laughs> I got one early hours of this morning. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, so on the schedule, if you bookmark it, it will tell your conversion times of what, uh, where you live to where somebody else is streaming or if they're in a different country. It will tell you all the conversion times or what you need to know. Right, while I've got this golden yellow, I'm going to pick something else to do. And I think I'm going to do the polka dots on this dark one because it needs to be something bright. So I'm going to do the sherbet lemon again Excuse my stomach. I 
coming up to dinner time. I'm not going over all the black because it's uh, it's a waste of ink. You're not going to see it through the black anyway. So I'm just going over the highlights. There we go, that's brightened it up. <laughs> no, no more chocolate muffins, Christine. My hips is big enough. <laughs> right, I'm going to put them two by. I'll best write them on my scrap bit of paper so I can update the list underneath when it's updated and there's my pen disappeared too again <sighs> keep tidying up and then i need it again right so we've got sherbet lemon and that's 100 and we've got sienna gold and that is 240 Right, now I can prone back. Put them in the right place. I think I might have some of that tiger bread with some butter on again, but... Why now? Uh, no, when I've done. Right. Mr. Unless my stomach starts growling, growling deeper right. and then I'll have to. You know what mm. we don't do with this parcel? I can undo it on here. Yeah. Could be one of them sparkly things. Sparkly things? Not we ordered yesterday. Oh, right. What did yeah. we order yesterday? I can't remember. A it's diamond painting. Oh, yours. I don't know. I'll let you open it. Right. Well, no, because you ordered yours from eBay, not Amazon. Well, it's got to be for you then. Mm. Whatever it is. Somebody's paid special delivery anyway. Fuck up. Oh, it's me. Water brush. I tease a water brush. Doodads. Thank you, Doc. I uh, know, I've seen it. Right. That can't say no, because I ordered that watch, same day. <laughs> Hi, Connie. <laughs> Welcome. I've got a nice thin one in here as well, because I've seen Connie using it. So. Yeah, that... in Is he? Uh -huh. You know, we paid out a lot of money for cat beds. You can't see me putting out post office, really. Um, and they don't use them. Uh, Ian one went and had a big yeah, box of crisps, and they've all gone now. So um, he put the bin, uh, the box out, ready to put through the burner. And of course, Oliver's decided, oh, that's a nice cat bed. So he's cleaned the box. <laughs> He's even pulled the flaps over so he can hide. <laughs> hey Shannon. Hello Nelly. That's all right, Connie. And while I think about it, I'll see if I can copy and paste the link to the colouring book schedule and I'll put it in the subscript in the chat in case anybody lurking don't know where to find it. So, let me copy that and paste. Mm. 
No, is that too long? It looks too long. No, what? That's it. It's done it. Right, so that's the, the Google spreadsheet for the schedules of streams. So if you want to grab that and save it, bookmark it so you know where it is on your computer. And then that does all the conversion times. It will show what times I stream in UK time and in whatever time zone you are. It will convert it for you. You, you're very right there, Christine, because we can't put a carrier bag down without one of the cats going in it. It's as though they think, oh, look, we'll new look toy. First, what do you need? £1.50. Right, I'm not sure if there is or not, but um, Liam's got the other card if he wants to go and get a tenner out at all. Now, how do you separate these to put out there? Oh, you've got it on the bedside table, haven't you? Of course I have, yeah. Right, so it's not a squeezy doodad. So, let me just go and fill this. I'll be right back. Now, that saves having jars of water on the table and hoping I don't knock them over because that's been known as well so that'll make life a lot easier dry it off have a look in my purse look Why? Yeah, yeah, you have to go up St. Disgustin's down that way. Enter. Has Liam got any change? If you need, uh, oh, there's a 10 p eight washer. When I was washing that side, I noticed so uh, Liam's chucked some change on there. I see that. Right. Well, it's because I've not been to Olink Wall. Liam's not been out for pop, so he have not picked any change up either. I thought I was going to You may as well, yeah. Is it have, don't say go after two or anything, does it, on no, card? No, because they've not delivered it, have they? Right. Not even come out at office. That's fine, then. And be careful. Oh, well. Liam, going with you, you said? Yeah, he's yeah. waiting for me. Right. I want a nice blue now, oh, so ID, yes, he'll need his ID and your driving license, it's in my purse. It's in your name, the right, my driving license then. I think I'll try see blue. Sorry about that guys, I think we're sorted now. Right, so I need to prime this, don't I, so I can get water to come through. Oh, I think I squeezed that a little bit too much. I'm here. He's here. You want ID, Liam, because you're going in for somebody else. So grab your wallet. Your driving licence will do. It's got your picture on. Be careful. Right, now this blue should go over this grey and enhance it, hopefully. Trying very hard not to go over the line. Thank you, Caroline. What's in that? 
Amel. Oh, you mean mail, you've hit wrong letters wrong way round. <laughs> I had to think then what that was. Sorry, Connie. <laughs> I do that often. T typing fast does it. And it just moves all letters to where they're not supposed to be. <laughs> Oh, this might take me a little while to get used to because the flow of water is slightly faster than I'm used to. It's nice to have one that I'm not fighting to get the water out of. I've waited a very long time to get some water brushes that actually work. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Derwent products, but for some reason that Derwent water brush just didn't like me. I should move to a bigger brush for this big area but it means messing about with other brushes oh no I can't be asked sorry <laughs> so I'll just take a bit longer with a smaller brush <laughs> the bristles are nice on it oh I've got another line See, Connie, I told you, I always go over the line. It's just that nobody usually notices. <laughs> I'll have a clean bat up, see if I can get this to pick up while it's still wet. No, don't look like it's going to. Get it to fade a little bit, that'll help. Nope, it's there to stay. <laughs> Good job it's small, eh? Yeah, I'm using ink tents again, Nelly. <laughs> it's a good job, Laura. <laughs> especially in my situation because my eyesight is not brilliant I can just about see where the line is but it blurs and I keep going over the line so at least it's only a tiny amount over it's not all the way over to the next teapot <laughs> Let me just use this bigger one for a bit. It'll do this teapot a bit quicker then. Oh God, that's better.
and that door. There we go. What are you doing today, Laura? Oh, that's good. As long as I keep you awake and not put you to sleep, hey, sweetie? <laughs> Just going to darken this bit a bit more because it's starting to look a bit grey. If I put a bit more ink just under there, that'll help with me shading in a bit. My head don't keep getting in way, does it, when I'm going and colouring? Oh, that's a boring job, Laura. Get your colours out. <laughs> right. Clean that off. Colour shall I have now? That one, that's right, that one down again. That was sea blue. Twelve hundred. Hey, <laughs> Kathy, welcome. Oh, that's very good then, Laura. Thank you. <laughs> uh, have a nice apple green now. 1400. Anybody who comes often will know that apple green I use a lot because I love this colour. a little bit so I can move this over just a little bit I'm gonna do this big one green more not off screen am I I'll just bring it down a smidgen yeah I'm trying to think what other colours I use quite a bit of there's apple green I use a lot, all the yellows I use a lot, and obviously the browns, but my most used brown is saddle brown. I use that a lot. And um, the ink black is getting very short, that one's replacing soon. I, I do gravitate to blue a lot as well. Oh yeah, fuchsia. But... I like thistle more than I like fuchsia. Thistle is such a beautiful colour. But I do use fuchsia a lot, yeah. I'm 
eventually I wouldn't mind getting the uh, travel pad, pad, what do you call them, pans, yeah, just for the four colours that you don't get in the pencils. So I can try a different colour. I mean, I've had these quite a few years, so I'm used to what all the colours are and you know how to use them, how to mix them, get different colours and what have you. But it'd be nice to have something different. I'm not too sure if the ink blocks do, are they exactly the same colours as the pencils or do they have some uh, different ones as well? What do they call them? Is it art bars? Something like that. <laughs> Dark chocolate, Vicky. Yeah, iris blue. That gets used a lot. You use light olive and saddle brown, Connie. Hmm. I like the olive colours, but I tend to use them just on leaves and not on anything else. Where the other greens I, I use on uh, different items. I have to change to a bigger brush again. But the olives I only ever use on leaves. I suppose I should push myself to use them on different things. Give the pencils equal love. See, this don't one, you're forever squeezing it to get a bit more water because it dries up so quick. And then you're fighting it, dragging ink around. Go back to little cheek when I get down to the next shelf again. Got him to finish in his shell. In case anybody thought I'd forgot about him. Yeah, I saw your series with Travel Pan. That's what made me decide that I think I might pick that one up. But you prefer the pencils, easier to blend. Hmm. Oh. Well, if they're not as easy to blend, then they're just going to sit in a drawer, so I'll not bother then. Yes, I know you do a lot of leaves, Connie. <laughs> I think you like doing leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you need to get yourself a small set of uh, ink tents Kathy and try them out no Shannon you won't need anything as separate from pencils like I say pencils has done me right from 1997 so You'll be fine. <laughs> right. 
You mix them separate on plastic, do you, Christine? You can't mix them, blend them on paper like you can with pencils. Yes, she needs the big set eventually, but I always advise people buy a small set, try it out because not everybody likes them. So just I know it means paying out twice, but buy a small set or if you if in your area you have um, somewhere that you can buy second hand goods, see if anybody's selling a small set of uh, ink tense pencils. See here in UK, we have uh, for, for sale sites on such as Facebook and that, I don't know if you do. And every so often you get people that put um, pencils they've used but just they've used a small amount of it and decided they don't like them. Or there's people who sell off pencils because they used to use them but now they don't use them. Uh, and you can buy them really cheap so try try them out that way first get something cheap and if you like them then spend your money on bigger sets ah there you go Tracy you tried the small set and you've decided you do like them but you'll be surprised how many people out there don't because they don't work the same as watercolours and they seem to think they fight with them and you don't need to fight with them you can get them to work just the same as what you can a watercolour or there's people out there who don't like vibrant colours not everybody can be the same which is a good thing We'd be pretty boring if we all liked the same things, wouldn't we? That's good then, Cathy. You might be able to find somebody who's got some uh, good deals with ink tense pencils then. Barely used. Or even half used. Because, like I say, at least with ink tents, you can buy uh, replacement pencils one at a time. So if you buy a set that somebody's used half of the colours in, so they short pencils, you get to try them out, find out if you like them, and as you've used one up, buy another pencil to replace it. It's a lot cheaper than buying the whole set straight out from start, unless you get a good deal like Shannon did. Which is very rare to find good deals. That's really good, Kathy. I wish they had prismas over here that were as easy to find. Somebody might have get a second hand set away because they didn't like them for whatever reason. Right. I'm going to, to pink now. So I'm going to use my usual thistle. Write it down before I forget. 720. Thistle. And you see how much I use the ink tents. It's nearly every project. Um, like I say, my set is a very old set. From 1997 so it weren't long after they were first released because they were first released in 1994 so I got them um, and when they were fairly new to the market and I've still got quite a long length of pencil like I say my shortest one is uh, saddle brown because it gets used an awful lot so for 22 years I've had these pencils and I've used these pencils and I use them a lot and I've still only got down to 
and being that short. That's me ink black. Still plenty of years use out of that yet. And that's me saddle brown. So they are good investment and if you like them, they're going to last you years. And I mean years, because if these have had me for 22 years now and there's still all that ink in them, they're going to last me for another 22 years. No problem. That were a good one then, Christine Fit Neo 2s. How many is the inner full set of Neo 2s, by the way? Because I don't know that. I don't know the answer to that one. Teapot here. 84. Uh, I've got 15. I think I've got a way to go then, haven't I? I've just realised I picked the thick brush up and trying to do the small area. That's a silly thing to do, isn't it? I'll let me pick one up. Hey Bear, welcome. Yeah, 72 is the largest for ink tents, Shannon. The thing we do, wouldn't is the pot the colours they think everybody needs and they stop. So most sets has only got 72 in. Well, no matter what pencil brand pencil it is that do and do. I think this colour soft, I think that's the one that they're pushing themselves up to 100 and it could be the first time ever. If I'm right. Don't quote me on that. Well, that's just what I've res read recently that they're coming out in 100 set at some point this year. I'm glad you're having a better day, Bear. Sorry you were having an off day yesterday. This is the colour I did on that cushion on Uxley, the edge of as well. I really like this colour a lot. And you can get it to look like velvet when you do it on material. It's really nice. I've got an arch line there. Pick some more colour up. See, that's what puts a lot of people off as well because it dries quick where and once it's dry you can't manipulate it anymore where with watercolour uh, they don't have to rush they can take the time and if there's something that needs blending a bit more they can re-wet it and work it a bit more where we ink tents they can't so they tend to Give it a try, quick try, not like it, because it don't do the same thing, and then they, they sell them. 
which is a good advantage to us because we can buy them cheap but I think they ought to give itself a bit more time to play with them and get used to them an envelope right. you. okay put it down there please thank you do you know what it is a letter I don't know what does it say what country it's come from no hmm? no I don't know where it is then I've just gone have that lime again oh It's a bit patchy. I'll wait for it to dry and then I'll get another coat. <laughs> You'll be fine with them, Shannon. But at least there's enough videos, enough people now who use them and you can follow along. Where when I started with them, there were hardly anybody who'd got them. So. I had to sit down and experiment and find out what worked and what didn't. Right, I don't know what colour to pick next. Hmm. Come across to here again, I may as well mix a cream up and do that eggshell and the little bird. So I want a cadmium yellow and the white. Who's moaning for food? Teddy. Right. That's his mm. Is he? Mm. All the roads open now. Is it? Awesome. Yeah. Where's my pen gone? Oh, oh they all stuck up. T-shirt. Back again. Yeah, I know. There you go. Right, I've got cadmium yellow. That's two ten. Cad yellow. And white is 2300. It's antique white. <laughs> yep. Lots and lots of videos. You can uh, find anything you want on YouTube now. Leave that out a bit in case I need a little bit more yellow. Okay, that. Oops, I've hit in dark yellow. I don't want the dark yellow.
Is it rubbish? It's the receipt for the 163 quid for the cat. Ah, and we and they couldn't be asked to put a stamp on it, so we've had to pay the stamp. We've had to stamp. pay £1.50 to get us a receipt for 163 quid. That is absolutely disgusting. It is. Oh, we can't help you with your cat because you can't afford it. So, but we'll charge you three hundred pound to say bye to the cat, and then we'll send you a receipt for it and make you pay for postage. That's downright bloody disgusting. It is. Well, they come out with the rest, I Yeah. Right, I'm gonna use a Swiss colour Caran d'Ache for this eggshell so I can get it lighter colour than what I can with ink tents. Well, that's just knocked my block off, that has. That's me, you know, really. mm. Okay, Christine. That was fine. Oh. Uh. Oh. Right. I don't I still don't know what colours to pick next. I'm having one of them days. Put yellow back anyway, because I think I've got enough yellow on the bird and the little chick. Give mm. mousse or soup. Of course they're not. Mm-hmm. Well, it certainly won't be a vet service we go to again, Doc. No. Yeah. Don't want it straight on the teapot. I want it on the mat. Hot red. And I'll start on the handle. With a small brush. Mm. Well, they're waiting patient, I can't hear them moaning. Oh, I can now. <laughs> I 
Oh, I forgot, Oliver doesn't like the mousse, he only likes the soup. So oh. give that Teddy. Oh, you've done Teddy one as well. I've already done three. Right. Well, uh, Mitts will eat it. Even Joe won't eat it. He usually does. Because they're picky. Yeah, he's eating that. Mm hmm. Where's Mitz? Oh, she's here still on asleep on back at Seti, but yeah, she'll. she'll have that moose save waste in it. There's two mooses. Yeah. Ted will probably have another one. Mhm. Mm yeah, right. Well, he's had his head in the biscuits. Just do this small lead top of it with this little brush so we can go in over that line I think I'm going to have to build this colour up though Hi Alex, welcome <laughs> Who's big screen? I've, I can't go back up chat so I can't see what I've missed <laughs> Try and stop thinking about it now, Doc, before it sends your stress levels through the roof. It's pretty there's nobody we can go and complain to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. again it's going to be one of them days see don't get stressed about your colouring because nobody is perfect just enjoy what you're doing. I think I'm going to have to do a background on this. He looks like I've been wallpaper or something behind his teapots. I 
often. I realise why I don't use this colour very often because it shows streaks up a lot. The more water you add, it turns a pink instead of staying red. It's good for mixing with other colours though. His glaze has gone wrong today. Try and add a bit more in that bit. He's fired it wrong. Central colour wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Fibber, <laughs> they're not beautiful, they're going all streaky, but they could be right. <laughs> I'm just having an off day, guys, but I'm enjoying it still, so that's all that matters. Uh, what colour shall I have this time? Clean that red out before I mix it with something else. Clean it out of that one. Got right. Put that back. No, the blue will be too close to that. Let's do green aquamarine. Mm. It is a fun picture, yeah. You're right, Tracy. And teapots need to be vibrant and bright. What's the point of collecting teapots if they're just all plain and boring, eh? That's green aquamarine, it's
Oh crap, that's it. It's all gonna have to be the same colour. We're trying to be careful and do just that them two lines. And I've gone over it. to put a lot of water through is that normal Yeah, Bear likes, likes to put his pastels out at window. <laughs> Neighbours think he's crackers, don't they, Bear? <laughs> as long as it doesn't go on the washing, eh? See it on Brussels. <laughs> They've got used to you now, have they? Run for cover. <laughs> He's out with that dust again.
I spoke too soon because now it seems as though it's not bringing water out. Is it just me who struggles with water brushes then? Have a good day at work, Nelly. And thank you. I think they're going to need another coat of colour. Because I'm not liking them at the minute. what's the difference between that one and that one well, that one is green aquamarine so it's got a green tinge to it and the other one was sea blue let me find it again Um, let me see if I can find the cards and this will show a close together what the difference of the colours is sea blues 1200 fingers is not working too great right don't know if you can tell on that but one is blue blue and the other one is like ocean green color so that's the difference between them Money pot. Money pot. Where am I looking? That is a egg cup with a chick in it. Others is all teapots. So that's the difference at minute that I can show you closest with the cards is um, and hopefully it's not too blurry for you. It's taking a while to come on screen. Wow, that's a very long delay. <laughs> yeah. So you can just about see a slight tonal difference between the two. That's all right, Kathy. See, that's why it's a good idea to make them colour cards because you can match 
you can separate them and match them up to images. You know, like if I'd got a photograph on here and I wanted to match colours that's in the photograph, I can get the colour cards and hold one up against the photograph so I can get a tonal, as close to tone of the photo as possible. How do I make them? Um, I'll show you. I'll just move the book. I've got a tiny machine. I've got a huge machine as well, but this one is ideal for doing them cards. I'll zoom out so you can see better. There we go. Right. It's just a very tiny cutting machine that looks like that. It's got a flat plate and a cutting plate. And then I've got a set of uh, oblong cutting doodads. <laughs> Can't remember what they're called a minute. <laughs> uh, templates. And all I do is get some scrap card. Grab some out of it, yep. It's only a rubbish card at the minute. Uh, I haven't got no big scissors, so bear with me while I just cut a piece off the little scissors. that down there put that on top obviously you won't waste that amount of card you'd cut it and probably on the edge there and get another one out but I'm just quickly showing you how they work and then you put the flat plate on top of the cutting plate and you roll it through and it makes a noise creaking as though you're going to break it but that's the noise it's supposed to make to know you're cutting through the card. And then when you're done, you take it out. And that's where it does. Even cuts in a fake stitched line. Yeah, you can use thicker paper thicker card uh, it goes right up to 320 GSM um, just put this one out of way and I'll show you the other one bear with me a second guys This one is the big King Daddy one. This is A4 size. I'll have to put my camera arm up a bit so you can see it a bit better. And this one's by Sizzix. It uh, works exactly the same as the little one. Let me just take the plates out. You get same a flat mat and a cutting mat and as you can tell that's been very well worn very well used but they're cheap to replace it so I don't mind that and then it has a 
what's called a buffer plate um, so you can cut little thin like I've just done with that other plate one that I've put away sorry the little thin cutting thing you could still cut on a big machine like this with a base plate And you can get an electric version if you don't want to hand crank, but using in colour books, you don't really need a big one like that. Just the little baby one is sufficient. But that big one cuts foam, you know, the kiddie play foam. It could cut that. You can get it up to that millimetre thick. To, and it will still cut it where the little machine won't cut that and also it cuts out and scores card in the big one but the little one doesn't obviously because this size will not fit through it you're welcome don't mind uh, sharing my knowledge even if it's not colour related um, these are the die sets uh, that's the oblongs uh, it comes in all different sizes um, so you can use them on all different projects uh, got circle versions as well and then you can get your fancy ones like butterfly shapes and um, well sky's the limit because there's dies for everything now even wording so. so that's another sideline that I do um, for making birthday cards and that just slowly bring you down so you don't end up dizzy straighten it up again yeah you can do card making journaling uh, cut designs out for sticking on your walls um, you can cut plastic out uh, in patterns so you can spray paint through them as a template you can do all sorts with them and it saves you having to mess about with scissors thank you Raquel <laughs> I'm glad everybody uh, enjoyed the little rabbit trail <laughs> Christine loves going off on rabbit trails don't you Christine Zoom you in a little bit. It's where you're doing one thing and then suddenly you think, oh, I know, and you go off and do something else. Right. Christine's always good doing it. <laughs> right, need to move my book back up and I need to move the arm out a bit. Let me see where that is on the other screen. That's it. I can see my teapot again. Bring you across. But yeah, I do like doing the colour cards for whatever medium I've got. There we go, that straightened it. Because, like I say, you can take the card and hold it up to a computer screen or um, a photograph or anything and you can match your colour yep cute little mouse on the bottom shelf will be coming down to him soon <laughs> I've got half an hour to finish these teapots that's because I went off on a tangent <laughs> Right, aren't a good 
very good. I think I might go light olive. And I think I'm going to put the colour straight on the pot and see what that comes out like because I'm not liking the streaky effect I'm getting at minute. You can relate, can you, Vicky? <laughs> I think all on us who uh, like different crafts, um, we've we've got as hands in everything, haven't we? We don't just do one craft. thicker at the bottom and then I can bring it up to where I want it like I usually do. I was trying to make it subtle and subtle's not my game and I think that's how I've ended up getting it all streaky. So I'll do it this way instead. And I'm only going lightly over the paper because it is a vibrant ink and you don't want it that much that you can't move it round. Best off my drink can't I before I forget that. Yeah of course like you. Mm -hmm. oh. a nice drink that look. Thank you. It's a shame you didn't make it warmer. I don't know. <laughs> and I've seen some people who's done these teapots in I've been three or four colours on one teapot but it's not something I can do. I just don't got the control. Not today. So they're going to be all flat colour, I'm afraid. I suppose I might be able to get in there with pencil now I'm not picking up off the mat. I could get some darker green or another colour in there. And have this light olive as the background. That would be possible. <laughs> Is Connie still with us? Just wondering what she's doing on stream. Connie will be on next. CB's colour and, and crafts, is it? You know, I, I'm terrible at remembering channel names. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your channel name, Connie. And if there's a mod... Yeah, Connie's still here. Right, so if you want to put your link up when towards 2 o'clock, about 10 to Connie and then uh, people can jump over and see you uh, what you're doing today do you know thank you bear and what's a bowie teapot I've never heard of one Uh, 
Oh, excuse me, mate. Turbulent. I think my computer's saying the wrong time, is it? Because if that's right, I've got more than half an hour, so I don't need to rush as much. Oh, it is right. 16 minutes past one. It seems later than that. Oh, that sounds nice, Connie. And I take it you mean tulips, not tulios. You've hit wrong letter, I think. Although I don't know, because it could be a word I don't know. Or if it's flowers, that sounds really nice. Yeah, 116, so yeah, I'm... It's me, I'm thinking I've been on a lot longer. Usually it's the other way round. I think I've been on short and realise I've gone over my time. The, another thing I've done and I've learnt thinking, I forgot to leave highlights, so I'm going to have to colour that one that I left earlier. Right, Take it, this lid, the plain bits are going to be green, same as the other, and the coloured bits are going to be stickers. Just that they don't line up. Me being very particular, if that were a teapot on our side, I'd want to keep lining pattern it, sticker up all the time every time you put lid on. <laughs> Write this one down before I forget. I can't answer that one, Bear, because I don't own a blender pencil. But I'm sure somebody can help you. I'll work this first and then decide what colour to do in the sticker. So it were tulips, yeah. Your phone changed it. <laughs> I've not put camera that low that my head's going in way, have I? Because I can see it right there. <laughs> That is working better. So I'll go over after the stream, I'll go over all others with pencils so they're less streaky. And then I'll share a picture on Instagram again like I always do. Try and get up to that edge without going over. Thank you. 
I'm going back to the colour cards. If you haven't got a Tim Holtz small cutter, table cutter, um, you can still mark them out with ruler and pencil and cut them with scissors. Then draw a circle and colour your colour inside the circle. You don't need to use the gadgets that I use. I just do it because it's easier on my hands and it's quicker. You can draw around a penny, any small piece of money you've got, make your circle, measure your oblongs with paint, pencil and ruler. As my mum used to say, going out to school. That is if you want to do colour cards. I'm not telling you you've got to do colour cards. Yeah. Or you can buy multi-packs of something called ATC cards. I don't know if you've heard on them. Artist trading cards. I know that it's going to be bigger than what the cards are I've made. But you can still do them on them. And then you don't have to do any cutting out. Just that it might work out a little bit expensive uh, buying pre-cut cards like if you've got a 120 set pencil you buying them cards 120 cards it's going to work out expensive where buying a4 size card and cutting it up yourself is going to be a lot cheaper That's a nice green. Yeah, little blank business cards. If you've got a load of them hanging about that you don't use, you can use them. You're doing a bear picture, a lion picture. I can't tell what the picture is. Sorry, bear. The little doodad picture you've put up can't tell where it is but I'll, I'll look forward to seeing your picture on Instagram just gonna make that bit bigger and I can see what it is I'm gonna pick a amber colour now and that's 17 I know I'm using a lot of colours, but um, I think the teapots need to be lots of different colours. I'm going to leave these zigzags till I decide what colour I want to do those, and I'm coming across to this teapot. sharpen it a bit or else I'm going to go over lines yeah I've seen that as well Christine I can't remember what, who it were who I saw because I flipped through all different to YouTube channels from card making to journaling and 
colouring, crocheting. Bit of time I've done flitting about for them all. I can't remember which channels I've been to. I think it could have been Dee Dee actually, the last person I saw using envelopes. Could have been one of her older videos. I know there's a lot of people in card making community as well that do. Um, Things where like envelopes uh, make them into little journals and that. Photo albums, things like that. Like I say, YouTube's brilliant. You can find how to do all sorts. Anything you want to learn to do, you can find. get my arm to go in a position it don't want to go in it's not a good idea might as well do the same colour it could look silly if it's a different colour if it's size at teapot. Hi Cathy, welcome. Okay Caroline. Enjoy your nap, that's fine. I'll talk to you later. And that, this is a lovely yellowy brown colour this is another one I use a lot amber
definitely worked out better for me putting pencil down that's straight on paper Every, everybody's different you might find it better doing from plastic and picking up a bit at a time bye Tracy have a good day They do, Christine. Like collector's items. Every teapot's different, but they all sit together beautiful, don't they? You could just imagine them in somebody's home as a collection. Judy welcome still not decided on a color on that sticker yet so I'm going to come down to the other shelf we're gonna to have to start going over colors I've used again oh. I think I'll use that lemon again on this one. It could brighten that up. So it's sherbet lemon again, 100. Quite a bit of colour down for this one so it shows through all the dark areas as well Go on then, please. Mine's coffee. Get a list to do it. No, you'll do it. Where's he moved to now? I don't know. Right. Like I say, why did we bother buying all them cat beds? <laughs> Should have just gone down to local shopping centre and got a load of empty boxes. I've still managed to go over that line. I 
go this far, don't you? Know? <laughs> they are very finicky. They'd sooner lay in a glass bowl than lay on a cat bed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Connie. They're coming out better now. I've put pencil straight to paper. I'm going to have to go back over the other ones and sort them out. Excuse me. Right. What colour shall I go back to now? Thistle, I think. Sharpen again. Whoops, there goes my end again. You're doing for less as well. Mm -hmm. Don't ask her. Mm -hmm. Finger ache. How are you enjoying your time away, Judy? I don't think you're back home yet, are you? Bear, sorry I didn't see you saying you were going. Liam, no. open us that back door again, please. It's getting a bit too warm. Thank you.
another reason I like the ink tents is because you don't have to try and cover every in, every little dot of white. You can scribble colour down and then as soon as you activate it, it smooths it all out. Okay, bye Judy. Sorry, I'm not looking at, up at chat as often now because I'm trying to get these done before I run out of time. I'm not ignoring you. Bit in, make sure it's dissolved it. It's starting to feel like it were drying out again. So pressed where it says push. And as you can see, it gets quite fluid again. a bit there, I can see a bit of light in it. And 
so. Oh, crap. I think that's every handle so far that I've managed to grow that line. At least I'm consistent. Amanda. Bye Raquel, have a good day. Yeah, Amanda, it's ink tense. We've got just under 10 minutes. Two teapots to finish. Right. Got a blue and a blue green, so I'm not going to pick a blue again. I think I've done to yellow twice, so I'm not picking that again. I think I'll go for like apple green again. Don't be scared on it Amanda. Find a picture you're not particularly bothered about and practice. Just chuck colour on, scribble it on and add water and have fun. If you pick a few pictures you're not really bothered about to practice on and practice blending and how they lay down you'll come to love them trust me Flurry's feet, we don't want green feet. Just go round his feet. And I will have to be careful there as well because I don't want it going over onto his fur. Because I'm good at going out at line. Especially today. I'm having a little bit of an off day guys, but I'm glad you've stuck with me. out of frame sorry guys <laughs> there we go forgot to move my plastic back to the other side didn't i thanks shannon that one that one's sherbet lemon that one it's a lovely color um being permanent shouldn't scare you either, Amanda. Um, like I say, if you practice on something you're not particularly bothered about until you get a feel for them, you get a certain amount of time to move the pigment about. It's not like as soon as you touch water to it, that's it, you can't move it again. 
it takes uh, a good five minutes to dry probably about three or four but as what I'm saying is it's not instant the minute you t take your brush away that's it it's dry you can't move it you can still have a little bit of leeway just not as much as what you do with watercolour put the tech green shine in that bit Oh, it's bitter exaggeration on time there because I've never timed it. But what I was trying to say is you do have some playroom. okay if you go over the lines it's permanent you can't rub it out but I go over the lines all the time I'm not very careful So far, every teapot handle on this page, I've gone out over lines. come down this top bit careful not to go over onto his fur or his hands Sure, it dissolved all that. <laughs> thank you thank you Christine yeah I can, there's only me that can see it because I know I've gone over the line but it's only slight like the blue there it's only very slight but yeah every handle the pink went over into the white on that one yellow there <laughs> right what well, Colour shall I do the last teapot? <laughs> Something to my matching, I think. I've got amber again on this one. Thank you, Cathy. I 
I've got oh we're two o'clock so Connie can you put your link to your channel on please sweetie well, unless you've gone to start setting up there we go so if everybody wants to go across to Connie she'll be starting in two minutes and I'll finish this and put it on Instagram so thank you everybody for coming today spending time with me and I'll see you again on Sunday morning same time 11.30am my time but now the uh, link for the colouring book schedule is on you can check the conversion of your times just uh, pray it in again if I can find the link there we go There's the link to the document. Thank you, Connie. So if anybody wants to grab that now and save it to the bookmarks, you can convert your times to everybody's streams. So thank you for coming, everybody, and I'll see you over at Connie's.